what's going on y'all what it is so let's go ahead and slide on this video and i want to discuss this situation that tmz has just reported on basically saying that cassie has been working with the feds way before diddy house was raided right and so guys remember i told you all this about three or four months ago and we're going to get into that also tmz is reporting that there are several media outlets from the uk that are working on documentaries about diddy because there's some people that have been violated in the uk by diddy and i also told you guys that three months ago didn't i huh but no let tmz report it because that's what y'all believe all right and then the third thing i also told you all is that cassie was working on a documentary and there's other people that have been violated by diddy that are also working on documentaries as well which i already told you that too now according to tmz cassie has been spilling all the tea basically detoxing her mind body and soul from all the cringy things that she went through while she was with diddy and they're saying that cassie may have helped the feds establish probable cause to get a judge to sign off on the search warrants before Diddy's houses were raided. Now, TMZ has also reported that multiple industry sources with direct knowledge says that producers and various production companies in Hollywood and the UK have been scrambling to put together long form documentary films covering Diddy's drama. Now, it's also been reported that five possible documentaries are in the works and at least one is underway courtesy of ABC News Studios for Hulu, plus a few more from UK production companies. So y'all, let's get thick out here for Diddy. Really thick. Now, what I wanna do right here is play you guys a series of clips. But first, I'm gonna start off with three clips of my own where I told you guys what TMZ is now reporting today, three months ago. Told you that three or four months ago, but again, TMZ, you know, y'all don't believe it until TMZ reports. Okay, I get it, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. All I'm saying is y'all, you know, look out for the melanated people who report. All of us are not corrupt. All of us are not trying to just make money off of you know salacious and nefarious stories right some of us have a moral compass so just give us a little bit of grace right we don't have the sources like tmz but we do the best we can all right so guys just sit tight and i'll be back to close the video so it says here what's up bro i was at a party here in vegas and it's a lot of people in town to see the in-season nba tournament tonight i had a chance to talk and get some insight on some more information involving diddy and all the shenanigans the first thing i have learned is that jay-z and usher cut diddy from usher super bowl halftime show i'm told jay-z pulled the plug after usher said he was uncomfortable with the ongoing allegations Usher also said that what Cassie and the other victims went through is reminiscent of the past and very triggering for him. Pay attention to that, guys. I'm told that before the NFL reached out about their concerns about Diddy being involved in the upcoming halftime show, Jay-Z had already nipped it in the bud. I'm also told that Cassie is working with other victims to file lawsuits against Diddy from other states and from across the pond. It's also been expressed to me that about nine other victims have contacted Cassie's lawyers who are all claiming to have been awed and affect, I'm paraphrasing here guys, by Diddy. One of the victims who was an up and coming artist is saying that when he contacted Diddy back in 2014 about filing a lawsuit against him for forcing him into committing s acts that happened in a studio in atlanta back in 2012 the victim says he was tracked down intimidated asphalted and i'm paraphrasing guys and thrown into the dumpster by diddy's goons he went on to say that he only maintained his silence because he was afraid of retaliation that would not only affect him but his family I have also been told that Cassie is in talks of doing an interview with Oprah and Gail King together. Cassie is also in the works of doing a documentary about Diddy. Also, Kim Porter has been said to have recorded videos of herself talking about her tumultuous relationship with Diddy, and I'm told that Cassie has those tapes. Kamora even has more videos, and that those clips will be included within the documentary series. So maybe that's why Kamora is on the run now. But I'm going to be at events all day and tonight. I will touch base later, 100 says here hey man i know you're drained about this diddy info but i just wanted to reach out and bring some things to your attention the first thing is that multiple media outlets from the uk are working on documentaries about diddy it's not clear what they are specifically about but with all that's going on with that dude we can only imagine i'm definitely trying to crack open what they are working on but they are being tight-lipped about the ordeal. I've asked around the industry and no one has any inclination into what is going on over there as it pertains to Diddy. But it's definitely alarming when a whole other country is working on material about someone that is currently faced with multiple lawsuits for SA here in the US. God damn, bitch. 
says here yo bro cassie has turned over substantial amounts of evidence to the feds i'm told that after cassie had a long conversation with blank i have to protect this person they're going through a lot right now and her lawyers she finally was convinced to give up the videotapes and audio recordings that contain footage of s parties and other private gatherings that feature some pretty powerful and prominent people and get this she even gave up a burner phone and usbs that belong to kim porter with incriminating evidence against diddy i'm told that there are a slew of artists politicians and entertainers that are about to be exposed and arrested for h10 i'm paraphrasing there okay h10 I'm told that Cassie's husband played a significant role in getting Cassie to turn over the evidence. It's to my understanding that Cassie felt that by exposing the truth, it would also make her look like a filthy more. And I'm paraphrasing there because some of the videos she turned in, it shows her getting number one on number one. Okay, guys, I'm paraphrasing again and committing more disgusting acts that she was forced to do. Breaking news in the hip hop industry. Cassie is cooperating with the FBI unbelievable just when you think diddy maybe he could catch a break here and there another bad one happens he paid cassie 50 million about three months ago to start the year but the fbi went after cassie and i guess she gotta talk unbelievable what do you think happens with diddy where does he go from here i feel like everything is going downhill for him shine took the blame when he did the club thing allegedly uh loon mace uh day 26 the entity kane mark curry black rob uh the locks thank god the locks went to rough riders did he just he single-handedly destroyed almost 90 percent of the artists he signed unbelievable where do you think happens what do you think happens to diddy comment below with feds in probe others talking as well so if you guys don't remember cassie and diddy dated back in the day i found this article by vulture it says cassie's lawsuit against diddy is explained what was diddy accused of in the lawsuit let's dive into it the lawsuit alleges several instances of abuse committed by diddy including rape battery and forced acts with workers in the filing cassie depicts the mogul head of her former labor label and then romantic partner as a textbook of luring her into one she first perceived as a fatherly protective relationship only to find herself in an unequal and violent sexual relationship diddy successfully kept her under his thumb through his alleged intimidation tactics which consisted of blowing up a man's car dangling a friend over a 17th floor batter balcony yeah there's a lot more in there but anyways back to what they're saying today sources with the direct knowledge tell us cassie is among the witnesses the feds have been in contact with in connection with the diddy investigation we're told she's been working with investigators for several weeks presumably even before diddy's homes were raided as she should given the timing it seems cassie may have helped the feds establish probable cause to get the get a judge to sign off on a search warrant other women were told have also been in contact with federal investigators yes we don't know what Cassie has told the feds, but presumably it mirrors a lawsuit she filed against City in which she alleged she forced her to have. So, damn right, she's involved in this. As she should be. Justice will be served. I'm not messing with anybody who could look me dead in my face and tell me that because Cassie took the money, anything she does after that is invalid. Because I've seen y'all saying it. I've seen y'all in the Shade Room comments and my comments saying, oh, she took the bread, so it doesn't matter because she already gave up. Nah, bro, this woman took him down. She took him for whatever he probably had liquid. And now she is cooperating with the feds against Diddy. And there's been a lot of talk of whether this investigation is real. I'm not sure, but if they got Cassie on the case, using all the evidence that she probably had, they're gonna put Diddy under the jail. Now it's all fun and games and everybody's did he do it, did he not, no Diddy. But in reality, these are very serious crimes. And if he did do them, then under the jail he should go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, so you guys just heard that Cassie is working lockstep with the feds, but those who follow me tight, you guys been new, right? Should I say it again? I'm not gonna say it again. I'm gonna chill because I don't need to flex on anybody. But at the end of the day, this is a very interesting dynamic that you have all of these entities that are coming together to take down Diddy and rightfully so. Again, just like I said in my video on yesterday, there are other people that need to be held accountable. But right now, 
Diddy is on the stand and he should be dealt with accordingly. But anyway, I'm gonna let this go right here. I want you guys to drop down and let me know what you think about everything that was discussed in this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace. Hey.